Namaste everyone. Welcome back to Delhi. I'm about to take a train to Agra and it's very very early in the morning. It's 5.30. Need to catch for 6 o'clock and just heading down the street here and here you can see public urinals. Right, very very early here in Delhi and this is what Pahar Ganj, the main bazaar looks like in the early hours of the morning. Obviously there will be a lot of activity later. But yeah, I'm excited for this trip. So come on, join me. Let's go and explore. Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah, you know Okman. So Agra is, of course, where the Taj Mahal is. And I'll be spending a couple of nights there. I can only check into my hotel at around 12 o'clock. But people have told me the six o'clock train is absolutely your best bet because you get a breakfast and hopefully it's also less crowded it will still be busy but yeah nice breakfast only an hour and a half journey here from Delhi I know there are longer trains as well that stop at more stops along the way but hopefully this one will be pretty smooth I managed to get a train ticket just by booking through a local that helped me so there was maybe a little bit of commission that I paid no sir, thank you railway station. So the ticket was around 650 and I paid around 800 including the commission which is a pretty good deal. And just as I thought it would be less busy in Delhi, I think we've hit the traffic here in front. This is of course the area where I started my very first vlog here in Delhi. The entrance to Pahar Ganj. Let's just squeeze here between the cars. Oh, this is an insane place. Right. I know it's early morning and I'm slightly still asleep, but this is going to wake me up. A little bit of a gap here, let's go. So if this is what it looks like when it's less busy, I don't know what it looks like when it is busy. I think the entrance is over here. Right. Okay. Morning again everyone, a little bit of breathing space. Let's see if we can find our train. Got about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Platform one. They say early bird catches the worm. I need to catch the train to Agra. That will be my worm for today. These people are all traveling somewhere, I presume. Let's just find out. There's the ticket counters. Platform one, sir. Agra. Agra. Yeah, sir. Over here. Right, so. Gosh, look at that. So the six o'clock to Agra is what I need to get. Platform 1 by the looks of it, and gosh, wow, it's just so busy. Hello, sir, how are you? Hello. Looks like the queue is here for security. Looks pretty alright. Hello, sir, you going to Agra? Sorry? You going to Agra? No, I'm going to Mathura. Okay, is it the same train mode? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, quite a nice train station. Nice art around. Some people squeezing in. There's no queuing here. Right, so here's the train. I need to find my coach and my window seat. Right, here we go. Nice looking train. I think I'm in the next coach, they said. Let's go for here. Sanya bud. All right, here we go. Seat 24, window. There's the window seat and the view. 
hopefully will clear up a bit. And yeah, let's go to Agra. This wasn't so bad, actually security was alright. Just excited to get there and uh, took me about 10 minutes walk from a hostel. And I'm seated here, I think there's another 20 minutes to go and then we go. Actually I left the hostel at 5.30 and it's now 5.44. So it took me 14 minutes from the hostel to walk here, get to the station, get through security and grab a seat. Space for my water as well. Here's a bag, nice leg room. And we've got a little trade table here as well, which you can put down for breakfast or other drinks. And it's a two by three configuration, which is unusual. I don't have a network connection at the moment, but this was the temperature at around midnight. 29 degrees and it's now 5.45 it's at least 29 degrees I'd say but nice air condition in the train as well and it's starting to fill up now and yeah, the window comes with a little curtain like this but I am excited to see what the view looks like yeah, there's even some plugs here if you need to charge something, charge a phone. Maybe not the best location, it's quite far away from the seat. Might have been better here. But nonetheless, at least there is some power. And yes, morning is broken here in Delhi. Oh, and it looks like we might have Wi-Fi. Just need to put in my phone number. But bizarrely, they don't have a UK option. They do have a South Africa one, so I might need to press my South Africa number. Yeah, maybe I'm still half asleep, but I couldn't find a UK code for the Wi Fi. So maybe they're getting the Brits back for all those years. Excited for this. Hope you are too. This is going to be an adventure. And here we go. seat has control of the curtain there but luckily I think people are keen for the view I guess I could have placed my luggage top here there's plenty of space but there's also plenty of space here in the seat and we're getting a complimentary water as well by the looks of it Namaste Danyavat there you go complimentary water to book food you even got a QR code there as well Biscuits, wow, like we get in South Africa. Yeah, this is a big surprise. Look at that. Tastes just like the Maori biscuits from home. Look at that. Welcome, happy journeys. Indian hospitality extending to the railway. They started to serve some hot water as well. So we can make a tea. And whilst my tea is brewing, enjoying a great view of somewhere here in India. Pretty good right now. And the sugar if I wanted to, but I feel sweet enough. Yeah, they're checking tickets, but they're not, they haven't asked me for anything. They've obviously got my details on the system. Got my passport in case. They want to see it. But it looks pretty organized. Very, very impressed. Indian Railways. Selling some snacks as well. Danyava. Yeah, yeah, sorry, no, yeah, Danyavat is good, yeah. 60. Yeah. Yeah, 60. 
No, 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 no. It's good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coconut water. No, it's good. Thank you, brother. No. Only five minutes or so away from Agra now. So need to start getting ready to get off. Yeah, beautiful countryside. It's still moving. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, they opened the train here before we stop. Anyway, guys, welcome to Agra. I feel like jumping out now, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll save it. <laughs> This, this guy's in a hurry. Anyway, health and safety not an issue. Let's go. We stop off. Off we go. Alright, just another day in India, I guess. Let's see if we can find the exit. I'll get a rickshaw and go to my accommodation even though I can only check in at 12. Yeah, it's quarter past 8. We were delayed by about 25 minutes, which I guess for India is not bad. There is an exit. And I suspect many of these people will now go to the Taj Mahal, but I will do that tomorrow. I'll go tomorrow, but here you can see. There's a mini Taj here in the station. Yes, guys, so I've just met my rickshaw driver here. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. What is your name? My name is Vaughan. This one, I'm Vili. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So I'm getting a rickshaw here, 200 rupees. I think that's a good price. You are from Agra? Yes, sir. Very, very nice, man. Right. Loads of rickshaws here. Oh, gosh, and look at this beautiful mural. Hello, sir. The mosaic of a Taj. Very nice. Yes, the, hon the honking cars are spoiling it a little bit. But we'll see the, the real deal tomorrow. So my experience of the train was quite positive. Overall, probably 8 out of 10. This is my auto rickshaw. Is it this one? One minute. Okay, yeah, yeah, no problem. I think he's on the phone. Maybe he's trying to get more than one person. But uh, I'll just, I'll wait for you, sir, yeah. Anyway, the train, maybe 8 out of 10. Toilet, 4 out of 10. Thank you very much. Don't you My helicopter. Helicopter. <laughs> very nice. Uh, sorry, man. That's a big bag. I Don't usually worry. travel a bit lighter. Don't worry. I'm the bodybuilder. You, are you the bodybuilder? Yeah. Very nice, sir. Very nice. I am one minute. Okay, sir. Yes, no problem, my friend. Oh. Right, so. I guess this is life. Alone in a rickshaw and can't go anywhere until my driver gets back, but maybe I'll just have a quick nap. Yeah. It was an interesting train journey. So 25 minutes late. It was supposed to arrive here at around 7.50. We got here at quarter past eight. But nonetheless, got here safe, which is what matters. And yeah, gosh, I just wonder how many rickshaws there are in India approximately. That would be an interesting trivia question. Let's go. Let's go, sir. You had drive? So <laughs> Sorry? You had drive my helicopter? Helicopter? Is yeah. this your helicopter one? Yeah. This? Yeah. Very nice, man. Yeah. So interesting. You? Oh, so I drive? After. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's many, many auto here. Yeah, it's too many, man. Okay. Yeah. No, no auto only India helicopter. India helicopter. <laughs> Very good, sir. Thank you, sir. What do you know? Oh, sorry. Hello, India, sir. So, two weeks. Two weeks. Agra? Agra, two days. Two days. Yeah, so today and tomorrow. Today or tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow I After? go to Taj Mahal. After Jaipur. Oh, very nice city. Your pink city. Pink city. Yeah, very nice. And then back to Delhi, maybe. Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah. India, how you like, sir? Sir, India is fantastic. The Indian people, like yourself, are so friendly. Thank you, sir. Indian and food? You, uh, you play good cricket as well. I like. 
You play good cricket, world champion, T20. Yeah. You beat South Africa, my country, in the final, but you deserve it. Final Liga. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Surya Kumar Yadav, catch. This yes. Is <laughs> I know, sir. Yes. Yeah, but people still yeah, in awe yeah. about that catch, but it was a yeah. bloody good catch, wasn't it? Amazing catch. Amazing, very nice catch. Yeah. Just giving you a glimpse of life in Agra. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure how much there is from a tourist perspective other than the Taj Mahal, but we'll see. Excited to be here. Yeah, check that out. That's the view back. Yeah, Akra Akra with street food. Cantonland board welcomes you. A few people on bicycles. Agra, of course, a lot smaller than Delhi. How many people here? Two million? Yeah, no. Yeah, yes. Maybe around two million. Yeah, two million. Yeah, it's not like Delhi, 54 million. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just giving you a view here of his helicopter. Indian helicopter. At the top. Indian helicopter, look at that. <laughs> See, that's a... He's nice, he's a decoration. <laughs> And at the back here as well, I suppose a small space here for smaller pieces of luggage. But that's where my bag is. And yeah, there's the cows on the street again. Oh, here we go, more street scenes. I'm not sure how much there is to see in Agra, guys, but we'll come and have a good walk around. Obviously the Taj Mahal, but I'm hoping there's more to the city, like some beautiful graffiti. Look at that, I love Agra. Some very, very interesting art. It sounds like even Agra has got traffic problems. Obviously not nearly as bad as Delhi. Yeah, I guess the first impressions, very nice graffiti, very nice murals. Here in oh, Agra, look at that one. They love flowers, they love color here in India. Look at these murals here, they are very, very nice as well. Lots of art scenes depicted. Maybe religious scenes as well, I'm, I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, culture. But yes, culture, song and dance. Depicted here, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Look at that one there, beautiful. Yeah, Indian art and culture, I was right, look at this. And obviously the rickshaw integral to the India culture. Hello sir, hello, hello. I can imagine Agra's economy depends a lot on tourism, people visiting the Taj Mahal. And hello sir, how are you? Namaste. See, Taj Mahal parking, we're definitely in Taj Mahal country. Oh, Taj Mahal over here? Yeah. Ah yes, you can see the Taj Mahal straight ahead, Agra Fort. That's something I could probably visit as well. I think it's a little bit off the beaten track. Hi, man. Hello, sir. Okay, oh, Taj Mahal. Now I go to a hotel. No, yeah, hi, man. Yes, yes, yes. Daniel, man. Here's the Taj Mahal again. More Indian art and culture depicted here. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely the first impressions of Agra is how. In tune they are with art. So I guess my hotel is not the most well known, but it's only 2,025 rupees for two nights. He's just calling the property to see where the hotel is. In the meantime, check out some beautiful art on the side here. Right, somewhere over here, maybe. Is this a hotel? Yeah. Oh, okay, Danyavat, sir. Danyavat. One minute, one minute. 
Yes, Hotel the First, Goyal Hoteliers. One minute, sir. One minute. Okay, one no minute. problem, no problem. First your hotel, if you like, no problem. Yeah. First your hotel, after one hour, two hour, first your hotel, shower, breakfast, yeah. after this place. Taj Mahal. Okay, yes. Taj Mahal, two hour, three hour, no problem. This is the Agra Red Fort. Agra Fort as well, yeah. yeah. Agra Fort, the very, very nice, very, yeah. very good building. This, the baby Taj Mahal. Oh, there's a baby Taj as well. Yeah, yeah, baby Taj Mahal, before 20 years. And it's a 200 rupee. Uh, thank you, thank you very much, man. All right, guys. Cheers, Rizwan. See you later. Right, guys, we arrived here. Hotel the first. Let's uh, see if I can check in. I don't think I would be able to. Yeah, I'm just showing the hotel staff some of the Indian cricket legends of the past. Look at that. Restaurant for the Soran is spicy. Okay. If you want to come there, we give it for the 12% discount for especially for you, right? Okay, thank you. I will meet with all the time for over there. Brilliant. This is what our number 7505989812. Okay. I help all time for you. Okay, excellent. Thank you. thank you very much. Just trying to check in early, so uh, I'm busy with that stuff. Just want to show you more of a lobby here. We've got fans in working order and over here as well. Taj Mahal, and I think that's a fort, Agra Fort. Right, checking into the room. See what we've got. Ah, oh, yes, very nice, sir. This is this is nice. Look at this. Yeah, Danyavat, thank you very much. TV on and some water. Little kettle there. Right, and some wardrobe here in case I want to use it. Let's check the bathroom. This is always crucial. Ah, oh, sanitize for your protection. Got some loo roll there, that's important. Econ in the shower. And a mirror, how's it guys? Wash basin. Let's check the view, if we've got anything. Well, I suppose it can be worse. At least I've got something to look at. And I've got some nature. Can it open? That's a, that's a good question. How does it open? Oh, this way. There we go. Yeah, get some fresh air. I actually didn't have a window facing outwards in Delhi. So, a bit of fresh air, that will be nice. If you have any doubts about the hygiene in this place, this glass has been specially cleaned for your protection. And the bed. Yeah, it's reasonably firm, but it's nice and thick. And some nice pillows there. Work of art on the wall. We got a fan there and yeah the aircon as long as it works I guess feels like it does. Yeah so I wouldn't call it five star by any stretch of the imagination but I mean for less than 10 pounds a night I would say this is actually for what you get pretty good value and I think it's good for you to see as well what sort of 10 pounds a night can get you here in India here in Agra. We'll, uh, I guess the proof will be in the pudding. All right, guys, you're sincerely just going to have a bit of time out. I hope you enjoyed our trip from Delhi to Agra. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. What do you think of a room? Let me know that as well. If you haven't done it yet, please press the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment for me in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. That's it for now, guys. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Take it easy.